Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator of the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're going to remember the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Samar, also known as the last stand of the Tin Can Sail. After Admiral Curita's center force battleships had been attacked in the San Bernardino Straits, they reversed course, causing Admiral Halsey to believe that they were fleeing the battle site. Battleships, after all, were obsolete in the face of aircraft carriers. This resulted in Halsey taking his aircraft carriers and battleships and the rest of Third Fleet on a run north after the Japanese aircraft carriers, which he thought was the biggest threat. Admiral Kurita, commanding the Japanese center force battleships, turned around under cover of darkness and continued through San Bernardino Strait without Halsey knowing it. On the morning of October 25th, his battleships emerged from San Bernardino Strait near the Leyte invasion beaches with hardly any American ships by to protect the transport vessels. His battleships ran straight into Taffy 3, a force of escort destroyers, destroyers, and escort carriers numbering 13 vessels. All of the vessels put together barely displaced as much as his battleship Yamato, and the gun turrets on Yamato were heavier than any of the American destroyers. The American units immediately attacked, even though they were facing overwhelming fire. The Japanese, believing they were facing Third Fleet, fired armor-piercing rounds, which punched holes straight through the unarmored American ships without doing any significant damage. The American ships were able to score torpedo hits on Japanese cruisers and get airplanes in the air. The aircraft were not armed with armor-piercing bombs or torpedoes, but put up such an effective uh, delaying action against the Japanese that Admiral Kurita was convinced that he was facing the main American fleet. Other escort carrier groups further to the south added their aircraft to the action, and as these air attacks escalated, Kurita was positive he was about to be overwhelmed by the main American force. American admirals were, meanwhile, desperately radioing Halsey to try and get his fast battleships back to deal with the Japanese battleships. Before Halsey could return, the Japanese ships decided to retreat through the San Bernardino Strait and return back to Japan. Only one of the battleships that participated in the action today would have enough fuel to ever sortie from Japan again. The rest of the ships were sunk in port by American aircraft within the year. Thank you for watching with us today. Come down and visit sometime. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tune in later for more content. And special thanks to George Leon for contributing the content of today's video.